everybody, it's Robin and Joe Everett with the Pet Podcast channel. Here we are at the Popcorn Park Zoo with a nice story about rescue. We love going here. We love telling stories about the Popcorn Park Zoo. It's just one of those places out there that are helping us take care of our little furry ones. So stay tuned, everyone, and uh, I think you'll enjoy this little clip. A, qu- a quick little bit of information about Mr. Wiggles the monkey. Tell us what you got going on with Mr. Wiggles, John. <laughs> this is Mr. Wiggles. He's a squirrel monkey. He's been here 16 years now. He spends the winter in the barn with us because out the, you know, during the summer he's in the monkey house, and he gets in and out and sees the, you know, the public, all the visitors and stuff. When it gets colder, the visitors stop coming. We bring him in here with us so he has some interaction, and um, he loves coming in because we, uh, on a Sunday, my wife makes, you know, pasta, macaroni, spaghetti, and uh, Monday morning I bring the leftovers in. So he'll watch me bring in the bag, and he knows what it is. Mm-hmm. I'll put it in the refrigerator. And Monday morning when I'm trying to clean, he can't wait to try to get out of here. <laughs> he did get out one time, ran right to the refrigerator and tried open, oh <laughs> open it, opening the door to get his uh, get his pasta. He wants his macaroni. <laughs> he wants his his little Italian monkey. Huh? <laughs> and what's the life expectancy? Um, it's a squirrel monkey, a and, squirrel they're, monkey and they're they're uh, the smaller the monkey, the quicker their metabolism, so the shorter the lifespan. So, uh, but he's got he's got a couple more years left there, and he's doing real well now. And Not a couple, he, a lot. Where did he come from? Uh, Hillside, New Jersey. Uh, sixteen years ago, or sixteen and a half years ago now, we got a call from Fish and Wildlife that there was a, a monkey with a collar and a leash on up in a tree, and uh, so they went up there and 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 caught him, brought him down here. They did an owner did come forth, but didn't have the proper permits to right. own a monkey. So uh, he was he was a little bit neurotic. He had that collar, which was like a, a and that leash was like a safety, you know, a security blanket. Mm-hmm. It took me a couple of weeks to actually get the leash off, and then another two months to get the collar off because it was all kind of put it up and stuff. Oh. And um, but he's a good little guy. You can see, he's, uh, he likes to he likes the employees here and loves being in here for the winter. So with, when you get an animal like this, I mean. Is, do you think that they're bred inside the United States? Do you think people are bringing them in illegally? Or? Both. Yeah. Both. A lot of a lot of monkeys come in illegally, and then there are some some that breed in the United States for the pet trade and stuff. But a lot are illegal. That's such a shame. And you know, I'm glad that the the states have stepped up. I mean, we we have a lot of information posted on our site about uh, China and different places that are that are um, illegally importing not only exotic meats but the animals and hopefully you know we can ratchet down on this and uh, this will stop happening let's hope so it's, it's a pretty bad situation when they're doing that and you got well it's because you guys have taken such good care of them.